Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard for Hobo Inc. Cacophony Edition. Oh, baby, these guys are ninth level and they think they are hot shit. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, uh, big shout out. Thank you very much. If you're a returning guest, thank you again. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like a phone case, cool Murder Hobo Con shirt, uh, throw pillow, shower curtain, shit like that, the link is down below. Check it out. If you're in the mood for new math rocks and who the hell isn't, uh, run on over to Twitter, catch at Pirate Dog Dice, see if they've got the time, inclination, and downright drive to go ahead and build you uh, some <laughs> cool dice. Uh, and then if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells a lot like sand tonight, uh, but try some adventure scents, especially for in-person gaming. Oddfish Games has over 60 of these scents. Uh, most of them are really cool. Some of them are nasty, like I shouldn't be in here nasty. And those are the ones you give away as gifts to your players because y'all. So go on over to oddfishgames.com, check them out. They also make something called Shine System. Uh, that is not something we'll able to see. Uh, the Shine System helps you write gooder like me. Check that out. Uh, and also, uh, two other things I always forget. Uh, shows for mature audiences only, so if you don't like your sense of humor, go ahead and find something else. I mean, you know, you, you tune in because you want to have fun. So find the game that you like. If you like ours, thank you very much. Uh, number two, if you want to be on the show, this Saturday is a one shot. Uh, hit us up, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. We'll get you on there. Uh, we try and prioritize first timers. So uh, there are some seats that are spoken for, but if you're interested, let us know. That being said, this is the Cacophony Edition. Let's introduce you to the fellow cast members. David, you're up first. Unseen confines before. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave's been traveling, so my interactions with Murder Hobo is kind of askew. So, uh, anyway, hi, I'm David. I play Zadar in here in Cacophony. He is an arcane trickster, changeling, kind of, you know, gender fluid. I mean, he's been living at, at, at well, she has been living in the female jessica rabbit form for a while and i don't know i'm just kind of sticking going with it. it seems to get me places so uh yeah and other than that you can find me on our calamity campaigns which is like uh every other saturday i play Ingve the ravenkin on that one and um i'm also involved with the socium project and btr i've kind of been missing <laughs> btr uh, a bit lately but no uh, thank should be catching up soon and uh if you don't find me here on murder hubbo you might hear me on a podcast uh i sometimes uh do little projects with uh kevin for game night heroes i've uh was recently in one with a cthulhu kickstarter and we also have one kind of that meets jason Bourne meets vampires coming up soon so anyway so be sure to follow uh, Kevin at Game Night Heroes if you ever want to take a look and take a listen into that. So, and that's it. That's me, folks. Next one, uh, Carrie, you're up next. Same question, different answers. I'm Jon Snow, King of the North. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I know nothing. To all these people. Um, yeah, so I am Puppy Wrangler and Murder Hobo producer. I play on Cacophony, and I also play on the B-side of Calamity. Oh, and uh, yeah, that's me. It's going to be an exciting night. Can we hear you at least? Uh, you are muted. So. Steve is running laps. Ah, great. Okay, folks, this is Cacophony Edition. These guys are ninth level, like I said. Um, hang on a second. I am not the puppy I am the I am the authoritarian. That's anyway, when you're just like, shut up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's why I try and remember to mute it. So these guys are ninth level. Uh one of their friends, Mortimer J. Sneed, time traveling jackass, uh, suffering from time dementia, kind of like Zadar, 
Uh, the has, only one. <laughs> has run loose. He's run amok. He's headed towards uh, the legendary Katang, uh, a, a place out in the desert uh, on a horse with every name in the book. Uh, but he got out of Natian on a blimp, uh, an airship. So he is way ahead of these guys. Uh, these guys have been told if they go to uh, across the desert and see the Pasha of Menis, M-E-N-I-S, that he has a magical flying device <clears throat> that will help them cut the time down dramatically. So that is where they were headed last time. They made it across the desert. They found ruins, a giant purple worm uh, carving mm -hmm. holes, uh, some other nasty stuff, but uh, they've made it and only a little bit late. So these guys have arrived at midnight of day seven, I think. Is that what it was? Day seven? I think so. Yeah, because you, so. got, you got extra water at the oasis where mm -hmm. the people there told you that uh, the posh is a dick. Uh, so you have made it there on the midnight of the seventh day. Uh, let me go ahead and pop up. This is a bird's eye view, but you'll understand it. So you guys have arrived at Menace, a rather large, imposing city. You got a river. Uh, you guys are coming in here. So, okay. Uh, and you know what? I bet I screwed up and because I've got... Yeah, I left it on the other computer. So I've got one that's already colored, but because I'm a moron, <laughs> I don't have it. As... So we're, we're just going to play it by ear. So you guys have arrived here at the South Gate. Uh, it's midnight. Uh, it's dark. You have no idea how vast this city is. There was no uh, reasonable research done. Uh, your first order of business would be a place to stay. Uh, actually, you can stay on the outside rim here, uh, or you can try and enter the city gates if you'd like. It is entirely up to you, but it is midnight. Oh, you're so tired. Should we just okay. put up our shelter and stay outside? Um, I'm kind of leery of trying to get in at midnight through the through the gates and wander through a city we don't know. Yeah, and that that could be true. That, that could be hazardous, but we also have a freaking werewolf <laughs> bearing down on us. So, uh, I have our sanctum. Uh, so okay, just throwing that out there. Let's throw that up, and uh, yeah, just um, hope this thing just kind of passes us by. So, which I seriously doubt it will. It's totally up to you guys. I either way, I'm I'm happy. Okay, we'll we'll take a rest in her sanctum. Okay, uh, that'll work. You're gonna rest the whole eight hours, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Cool beans, Camille, D12 against me. Seven. Five. Oh, you guys awake to a very bright morning here on the desert, hence the sandy color. Uh, and good news, bad news. What do you want first? Give us the bad news. Yeah, the bad news is you are surrounded by tents and animals and people. Okay. They are setting up like a shanty town in proximity where we are? Marketplace. Marketplace. Oh, okay. Uh, and for some reason, nobody wants to encroach on your area, so they have encircled uh, your sanctum, uh, and there are people all over the place. Uh, it's early. Desert dwellers wake up early because they want to avoid that afternoon heat. Uh, market is in full swing here at Southgate, uh, and as you rise and shine and peek out, uh, you notice a bit of a smell. Uh, it's goat day awesome. at, uh, nice. at, the, at the market, uh, but it is daylight. Uh, you're thinking, give me an insight check. Let's see what you're thinking. Okay. What you thinking? 14. Uh, let's see. You said uh, insight, correct? Yep. 
Alrighty. Uh, for Zadar, that's a 16. Uh, Zadar, you're, you're guessing 7, 7 a.m., maybe okay. 8 at the latest. Uh, Camille, early morning, uh, you guys are getting it. There are a variety of different vendors here hawking their wares. They will be speaking in common okay. for your uh, pleasure since uh, there are mixed races here at Menace. So first thing I'm going to have you do is each one of you is going to roll a D4 twice, and then you're going to give me percentage roll to see what kind of businesses are next to you. Okay. So don't don't worry about bad rolls. It's not bad rolls. So okay, you said a D4 twice? Two, a D4 twice and then a percentage roll. Okay. All right, a two and a one and percent. I got some new die and 27%. Ooh. And a second percent? Uh, 43%. Okay, Camille? I have two fours. Ooh. And I have a 20 and a 100. Ooh, Ooh nice. Ooh. Uh, Zadar, mm -hmm. uh, first thing you notice is an alcohol vendor selling stout, uh, a stout beverage. Uh, the individual is, uh, we'll say Jordanian in appearance, uh, turban, okay. flowing robes to keep himself cool. You are in the desert. This is a desert nation. So we aren't racist. We're just going to say this is what you're going to see. There are no three-piece suits here. Your other one, uh, the other vendor you spy immediately uh, is... A llama salesman. Okay. Llama. And they are spitters. D12 against me, Zadar. Oh, geez. Three. Uh, six. <laughs> uh, he's not spitting in your direction yet. Uh, Camille, good. the two things that you notice off the bat. Uh, I wonder what that is. Oh. Okay, it's gemstones, Hyksol. Nice. Uh, okay. And the other item for sale, for sale, is, come on, jackass, get it right, chestnuts. Hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, as you guys emerge from the sanctum that drops, uh half the people say okay. they don't give a shit uh nobody gives a shit that you just appeared awesome. uh you have stunned nope. no one uh they are there they will offer you stout they will offer you llamas they will offer you uh gemstones they will offer you chestnuts but as for you appearing out of the blink of an eye not one fuck is given thank goodness okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, purchase a stout uh, from the vendor, and I'm going to inquire from them uh, if they happen to know a silver merchant, uh, either in the market here or somewhere within the city. Uh, silver is a big deal here, my friend. Uh, there are several vendors selling jewelry for silver here uh, as uh, outside in the market as well in the Grand Bazaar inside the city, and there are several silversmiths throughout. Ah, miss, miss, how, may I help you with something? Uh, so it's, uh, life moves quick here in the marketplace. Sure, sure. I thank him and uh, take yes, my yes, step. Yes, sure, yes. sure, whatever. I just hike up, up and toss my hair and walk away <laughs> zero shifts so yeah so, uh camille do you want to purchase anything uh i'll go get some chestnuts and ask the same question and ask if they know where the pasha is at in the city yeah and they point now uh the stone walls here are about 20 feet high they're quite impressive and you haven't seen anything since cacophony that looked this big uh but high atop a hillside within the city uh is a 
uh, in a spade shaped minaret. Uh, and it is attached to a gleaming white tower. Uh, that away. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you guys want to peruse the marketplace here, look for other vendors, or just say fuck it and go into town? I think uh, we need to go into town. Yeah. Uh, if we happen to see uh, a silversmith on the way in, Sadar sure. may acquire about that. Both of you a single D4 and a single percentage. Of course, I had to put my D4 up. <laughs> uh, three on the D4 and a single percentage. Uh, 78. I also got a three and another hundred. The hell are you rolling, man? Uh, I never roll those. I guess they're, you know, full. <laughs> uh, Camille, you find oranges. And Zadar, you find cook flow. Huh? Huh? I believe it's a uh, herb. Okay. Because it's right you know next what? to the zucchini seed dealer. Ugh. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, this uh, caravan trade list that I found, uh, almost 500 items. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Okay. So, uh, and you guys reach the gates. Uh, there is a line mm -hmm. uh, to get in. Uh, you got some guards uh, all wearing uh gray so uh gray headpiece gray cloaks over their armor their armor appears to be very light like leather uh so these guys are not shock troops these guys are very simple men at arms types they're all pretty big uh they're standing about six five oh and they carry scimitars but again, they're lightly armored, uh, and they are. What do you got? What's your business? State your business. What are you doing? Da 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 da. da. You'll notice uh, some of the vendors are taxed immediately at the gate. Oh, okay. Immediately at the gate. That is something I haven't seen before. Can you notice that? That's weird. Which vendors are taxed? Uh, there is no distinction between genders or race. There are several races here. Well, now, uh, like, is it according to their goods? Yes. So, like, food items versus... Uh, livestock. Oh, okay. So livestock people are taxed. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Gotta that clean makes... the poop up somehow. Yeah. Well, yep. yeah there That's is that. It. Gotta <clears throat> be the street sweepers. Yeah. So you guys can get in line if you'd like, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, give me a D12, Camille. Okay. Zadar would have purchased some uh, oranges and gave one to Camille. Mm -hmm. He was just yeah. like, Thank in you. the desert, you definitely want to eat something like this. Don't want to get the scurvy. That's right. <laughs> wow, uh, are you noodle? <laughs> no rickets. No uh, rickets. <laughs> I got 10. Uh, it's going to take 10 minutes to get through this line. Uh, both of you roll a d20. Okay. Oh, eight. Oh, nat 20. Oh, man, I use a nat 20 on something like this. That's uh, Zidar, you're fine. Camille, the camel or oxen. We'll go oxen. You know what? Odd even. The camel in front of you poops oh. uh, <laughs> but not directly on you and you were able to skirt around it after 10 minutes of standing in line with the peons uh odd even and age a very very elderly man uh putting most of his weight on a really weird looking staff uh looks at odd even uh, even Zadar uh, and asks you, uh, what's your business in town there, uh, boobs? <laughs> we are nice. actually seeking an audience with the Pacha. Hmm. I 
see. Good luck. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> Any tips on how to to, to arrange a, a meeting with the Pasha? Is there someone we have to speak with? Uh, perception checks both of you. Okay. Ugh, nine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, perception, uh, uh, 21. Uh, he seems to scratch a lot as he talks to you. He introduces himself as Jaime uh, and points out that, no, he doesn't really have any good tips on talking to the Pasha, but don't you sass off to him. He's very adamant about that. Okay. Oh, I... The Pasha has a... What do you call it? No uh, sass tolerance policy. Uh, he's kind of got an attitude. Uh, is he a uh, big guy or a small guy? <laughs> He's a large guy, larger than me, but this guy's all hunched over carrying his staff. Sure. Uh, and but yeah, a large man, very potent man. Mm. Uh, Virile. Right. Yes, yes. He's a, he's a, he's a leader. Okay, good to know. Good to know. You two, come on. You're holding up the line. What do you want? What are you doing here? What do you want? Uh, we are here. Where do you get them oranges? Uh, we purchased them from the vendor back there. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? You selling? You buying? What are you doing? Uh, visiting. We're seeking an audience with the Pacha, actually. Ooh. <laughs> me, me, me. Move on. <laughs> and they kind of thumb Thank you, you. on <laughs> uh, Give me a perception check again, both of you. Okay. Oh, man. 16. Perception. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Uh, that is going to be a 27 to Zadar. Zadar's perception is extremely mm -hmm. high from being a thief. Uh, you guys hear uh, them talk to Jaime next, and they seem to be in a very, mm, I'll call it an angry tone. Uh, kind of like, oh, you again. What the hell are you doing here? This is the fifth day in a row kind of thing. Uh, you guys may continue on. The streets are full, uh, full of camel ship, full of ox ship, full of people, <laughs> full of carts, full of vendors, uh, full of street sweepers picking up the poop. Uh, this place is a metropolis. I mean, it is twice as busy uh, as Cacophony wow. and probably the size of Cathaway. So oh, wow. you, you guys, uh, and it's twice, at least twice the size of Nate. So, wow. Do you suppose you, they'd have coffee here? Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they got something like a Moroccan style coffee mm. or something. Is that what you want to look for? Yeah, my my flying J mug of my carabiner has been empty far too long. Okay. Well, <laughs> again, you're coming in the south gate. Uh, you can go left, right, or straight, or if you want, you can cut in between buildings. Uh, it is broad daylight, so cutting through the alley probably isn't going to be a big problem. You know that there's a river nearby, uh, but you can't really see it. So uh, the river, the palace, and the green stuff, you can't really see. If you're thinking three-dimensionally, every building, there are no, there are very few single-story buildings. Everything is two to four stories here in Venice. Uh, big, wow. big city. Uh, so if the path that we came in, if we go straight to the center point where that thing is, what's there? Is that where you want to go? Well, no, I'm just, what is that? City Plaza. So where's the tower that the Pasha's in? That, okay. Okay. So I say let's go towards the city plaza and see if we what we see on the way. Sure, sure. If we see a coffee place, we'll stop in. Uh, you guys see a lot of places along the way. Food, beverages, inns, uh, shops. D12 against me, Zadar. Okay. Uh, six. Uh, nine. So you don't see a silver shop. You do notice some somebody handing out a beverage uh, in small little tiny uh, spoons kind of like a uh, sample plate uh but it it's got a silver spoon uh and uh the individual wants to know if you want to try some broy try some broy try some broy 
Uh, what sure. is that? It's a liquid. Uh, strangely, looks like cough syrup. I guess it's kind of a viscous fluid. Uh, it sits in a, a, a teaspoon. Uh, but, I mean, people ahead of you have tried it. People behind you will undoubtedly try it. It's up to you guys if you want to try oh, it. Oh, sure. What the hell? Sure. Okay. Uh, who wants to try it first? I will. <clears throat> Give me a constitution check. Ugh. 20. It's actually really good. Uh, it has a, a honey flavor for you. Uh, Zadar, did you want to try it? Uh, yes, okay. I do. 21, 19 uh, plus 2. Yeah, it's, it's, that's good. Uh, Zadar, you feel a tug on your cloak. Uh-oh. Okay, I turn around. It's Jaime. Oh, uh, it's just like, hello there, how are you? Uh, this is not the best boy in town. You don't want this. This stuff is filth. Uh, really? That okay. causes a rebuke oh, dear. from the seller, and he begins to chatter at Jaime in an unknown language. Uh, Jaime, Jaime kind of old man laughs at him. <laughs> and he goes, far side, far side of town. Best boy in here. No. Okay. Uh, the, the seller is really pissed. Uh, cause you know, uh, this is going to be a bad Yelp review for him. So oh. he's going to be down <laughs> a star. So, uh, but I mean, for you guys, it was good. I mean, yeah, you, I was about you, to you say, like that shit. I so mean, you, our you first one, sure, this is good. You aren't sure what Jaime's talking about. Uh, and you see a small child come up to you and the old geezer smacks it across the face. Jaime smacks the kid. Jaime smacks the kid. Okay, I I grabbed Jaime's hand. I was like, "What? Okay. Why did you do wow. that?" Wow, you know him. Uh, do you like having a coin purse? Oh, oh, okay. I am familiar with those. So, uh, okay, I'm willing but you to know let what? that slide. You know what, sport? <laughs> you know what? I've got business of my own. You be careful. This is not the safest place in the world. Well, thank you. I mean, you you understand my concern. I'm not used to seeing your child. Uh, uh, he's, br he's brushing you off, and you notice as he leaves, he puts that staff right in a steaming pile of poop, uh. and he continues on. And uh, it's a big crowd. Uh, I check my coin purse. <laughs> it's there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the, the child also runs off. It's going to have a little uh, shiner, shall we say, because Heidi okay. gave it a, a nice stick. Of course, Camille thought that was hilarious because Camille uh, hates children. Hey. Uh, <laughs> as you guys come to the center of town, uh, it's cobblestone. All the streets in here are cobblestone. So this is not a shithole third world country. No offense, shithole third world countries. Uh, this is cobblestones. Uh, the businesses are all in good shape. Multicolored rooftops, uh, plants hanging everywhere. This is something out of the Arabian Nights. So this is not mm -hmm. some dump. This is a metropolitan area. As you, okay. reach, as you come up to this area right here, this whole double block is what they call the Grand bizarre okay there are people filtering in and out uh not many peasants slash poor people a lot of uh middle class merchants and high-end looking individuals uh a lot of guards too uh the guards large not heavy armor not shock troops mm -hmm. uh stand with nice pikes with uh, like a scythe on the end of it. So oh, wow. uh, if, if they're going to hit you, they're going to just mop the floor with anybody within range. So, sure. uh, and these guys are just uh, stone. So all, all you can see is, is the gray turban and gray face. So all you can see are eyes every once in a while. Uh, female. 
He's okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely female. Six five, but female. So this right. place is filled with UFC wrestlers. Sounds like it. <laughs> uh, I have it, to watch the AEW or something. Yeah, as yeah. you reach this area, this is a temple. Clearly a temple. It has red granite pillars. Uh, it is to the god of Jenna. J-E-N-N-A. Goddess of Jenna. Okay. Uh, and that is a temple. Uh, they wear green uh, tunics with white piping. And what is their goddess all about? Religion check, both of you. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, 17. Oh, losing my religion. Uh, six. Uh, Camille, you vaguely recall something in your past, something about a desert flower. Uh, nice. you're, you're thinking maybe goddess of Jenna is flower or vegetation or something, but certainly the green tunic would be a dead giveaway. As you reach the center, the plaza is full. I, I mean, it's jam-packed. It's like freaking Mecca here uh, during Ramadan. A lot of people moving around. There's a giant pillar uh, with a statue of this potent warrior. I mean, rippling muscles standing tall has the spear you know getting ready to throw clearly it's a military monument of something uh and as you look uh you see a sign you know a bronze plaque uh mm -hmm. that says uh khalif najaro okay all right so a, the temple it's close by Yep, you guys are right in the center of the sea of humanity. You have a temple here. You have a temple here. Well, I want to go to the temple of Jenna and um, give an offering. There are plenty of uh, destitute, wounded, crippled, handicapped people on the steps, each holding wicker baskets. Oh, oh, please help me. Please help me. Uh, so you can give it to them. Or you can go into the Red Granite Temple. I want to go into the temple and see what that's all about. Uh, you see a, a fairly large number of acolytes moving about to and fro, taking care of business. At the very back, uh, there is this huge silver statue of a, just a gorgeous woman. Uh, no veil, just a gorgeous woman Slut. in flowing robes. <laughs> uh okay uh Zidar checks out the statue mm -hmm. takes a good look you can only get about 20 feet to it uh and then there are acolytes every five feet uh they they make no aggressive movements but clearly they are there to block any approach sure. uh give me investigation checks on both of you okay Oh, that's not good. Mm. Uh, uh, 16 for Zadar. 10. Uh, Zadar, you see a, like a chief priestess kind of chick in the back uh, on the other side of the statue uh, talking to somebody. You don't know who it is. Uh, it's a very animated conversation. Hmm. Uh, the, the individual is dressed in uh, black robes uh, and the cowl is pushed up. So you can't even really tell if it's male or female. Again, the the high priestess chick is quite animated uh, with this individual, but you then notice that the uh, robed figure bows and makes an exit over to the far right. So, uh, Camille, you have found acolytes willing to accept your offering. And I asked them, I'm like, do you take care of the people that are out front that are in need? Yes, we uh, we support the soup kitchen. Okay, so what if they need medical stuff? We do the best that we can uh, that uh, Goddess Jenna allows us to do. Clearly, you saw some crippled individuals, some missing digits, some missing limbs. Uh, you guys have not found anyone 
that does regeneration in the world. You found some monsters that regenerate right. hit points, but but mm -hmm. you've never found anybody who can regenerate limbs. I just want to make sure I'm not giving to a scam charity here. Um, <laughs> give me an insight. Uh, seven. Yeah, you, you can't tell whether it's a scam or, it. or not. All right, well. Yeah. It, it, it's big. Is it Joel Osteen? It is not Joel okay. Osteen. Uh, these, are, <laughs> these are not demons. <laughs> okay. All right. I give my offering and I bid them good day and go back out. Uh, Zadar, you are paying attention to this uh, exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, I am. Um, uh, do I see the priestess like turning and heading our way since the cloak figure moved off? Or Not, not your way. Uh, dealing with business. Dealing with business. Business. Yeah. Okay, but uh, no chance of an encounter with her, like, nope. you know, ask Priestess, can you tell me uh, about the works of Jenna or anything like that? Nope. Okay, so no opportunity to strike up a conversation otherwise. Not with her. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, I turn to find Camille. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the distraction. We can keep uh going now. No, that's okay. It's just I I saw one of the uh, priestess uh, having an an animated conversation with a black cloaked figure. Uh, mm. Could not couldn't see their face. Cal was bells up. bells ring out. Oh lord! Uh, uh -oh. And people begin to scatter. Uh oh! <laughs> like what kind of scatter? Like there's a tornado warning. They, they're just going in different directions. As you look around, you notice uh, that the Jenna Acolytes are helping the Infirmed into the temple itself. That's what I was going to Bells are going off fucking everywhere. Okay, I guess we better stay here then. Yeah, I start helping the some of them in. Oh, we went, oh, that's right, we went back out. Um... Uh, oh, okay. So you can you can help with the infirmed. That's okay. not a problem. We yeah, well, yeah, we'll help some of them into the, the temple. Okay. Uh, give me straight up d20s. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. 18. <laughs> Camille develops an itch. Oh, uh oh. No, man. <laughs> I was being nice too. Oh, yeah, you got you got bed bugs. <laughs> does press nice. the digitation work on on bed bugs? It does not. Uh, uh, screw you, DM. Your, your disease does. Yeah. Uh, as you're helping these infirm people in, you guys want to ask? Uh, yes, we'll ask what the commotion is about. Uh, just get inside. Just get inside. You'll see in a moment. Uh, okay. It starts to get really dark now. I okay. mean, like, oh, hey, it's bright, sunny day. Holy shit, it's dark. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it, we're talking like eclipse or something like that? Or eh, kind of like a tornado. Uh, and you notice uh, stuff blowing across Ooh. the plaza. Oh. Uh, as in winds are coming. Uh, okay. The bells continue to ring out. Uh, the acolytes step back 10 feet. So you can get 10 feet closer to the statue uh, and passers-by and everyone have taken shelter. So you guys are kind of packed tight in here. You don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, the infirm person that gave Camille bed bugs points out the door uh, and just this huge sandstorm comes, uh. along, comes floating across the city goes completely pitch black only the oil lamps hanging on the wall are there uh there's swirling winds uh and there's a howl as the wind comes through uh and then <laughs> as your vision is completely obscured in walks or rather hobbles in tiny hi me. of course wow well. I say, Jaime, what are you doing out here? I'm exfoliating. <laughs> Some of us don't get around as fast as you, little one. 
Uh, Jaime seems no worse for the wear. Uh, mm -hmm. and the, the sand is in his creases. He's an I old man. I just explained to him that I was concerned about him. Uh, I appreciate that, dear. I'm fine. Do you need any broy? And he whips out this weird genie jar looking sure. thing. I'll try some. I got bed uh, bugs. What if I got to lose? Roll an advantage. Seven. That advantage? You rolled a seven? Yes, the other one <laughs> was one. <laughs> Is he offering for Zadar as well? Sure. Okay. He met you. Okay. Uh wow. Okay, just straight up D twenty. Wow. Okay. Eight, man, with advantage. It just came up eight. This, this <laughs> tastes like oil. Oh this tastes like oil. It's very sticky, very pasty substance. Uh he notices the look of disgust on your face and he's like, hmm, you have no sense of taste. I think it's the sand it's gotten into my mouth. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d10 Zanar. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, five. Five minutes goes by with the sandstorm, and then bright and sunny again. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of sand, uh, but several of the acolytes from this church and the church on the other side step out nobody goes outside do you mm. want to follow these acolytes outside or no i want to see if we can check out the statue so you want to walk out is the statue outside mm -hmm. oh oh do you are you talking the goddess statue or the statue in the center the of goddess the goddess statue oh uh yeah you can get within 10 feet of it mm. okay zadar what are you doing Oh, I'm just back in Camille's play. So, okay. but. so you guys move through the throng of people. They ain't moving. They are okay. not not going anywhere. You guys squeeze past them. You take a look. Statues of exquisite beauty, but you can tell it was made in three pieces. It's uh -huh. a very fine line. Uh, and because of the height of this temple, 20 feet tall, uh, the pillars probably would not have supported such a singular statue to come in so it's safe to assume that it was built in pieces so it's the ikea of uh churches uh it's very nice again the acolytes that remain don't say anything uh but clearly they are restricting movement up towards it uh you do not at this time see the high priestess nor do you see the black robed figure uh the crowd begins to move outside so can I cast invisibility on myself and investigate the statue? Uh, D12 against me. I'm like, what? <laughs> Four. Reroll. Twelve. Uh, yeah, you wait for the right time as the acolytes kind of scan and sure, go ahead. Okay, poof. <laughs> I'm like, okay. where'd you go? <laughs> Zadar Camille is no longer present. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, oh great. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. So I go to investigate the statue and everything around it. Sure. Uh, there's a small recessed pool around it that you didn't notice before. Uh, and the pool uh, is of questionable depth. You can't really tell. The, the water is so deep blue that you can't really see the bottom so it could be a two inch pond or god only knows how deep uh it, it extends around a 15 excuse me 15 foot radius so 30 foot diameter uh below uh the the red granite tile um uh, so you if you get into it a you don't know if you'll sink b if you don't sink, the water would be noticeably right. moved. Right. So can I tell if it's actually just water or if it's some other fluid? Nature check. Well, this isn't going to be good. Eight. 
Looks like water. Hmm. So as I walk around it, do I see anything else other than this circle of stuff around it? Her back end. How's that look? It look it's looking hot. Nice. Goddess, goddess is uh, racking the cake. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and Zadar's blue eyes are going to go a little bluer, and I'm going to um, like stereotypically casting detect magic. Uh, D12 against me. Eight. Ten. Uh, you wait for the right time. You cast detect magic. Anything? No. How, what's the range on that, though? Uh, I think range on detect magic. Let me see. Da, da, da. Detect magic. Uh, let's see. 30 feet. Uh, you see a uh, halfling figure roaming around. Okay. Her, her magic that, I, her magic items will be moving around. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the statue is not magical. Uh, okay. The acolytes present. No magic. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, I'm just keeping an eye on Camille. <laughs> All right. So I don't see anything. So I'm like, whatever. And like, go back to Zadar and be like, let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> you guys go outside and you notice that the plaza is completely clean and free of sand. Wow. That's wow. Impressive. Okay. You also notice that Jaime is gone. Uh, and you also see the little street orphan, urchin. Yeah, street urchin uh, hovering about looking around. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but All yeah, this, right. this, this place is full. Uh, you notice to the left here, this is a very steep incline leading up to the walled fortress. Uh, the spade minaret can be seen. Uh, the palace itself is white, white limestone, mm -hmm. just like this church here, only cleaner. Okay. Uh, are these like risen steps that, that go up is, or is it just great, an incline? Great incline. Okay, I thought it might have been like one of those paths of, of like a thousand steps or something. Like Game of Thrones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it is an incline. Yeah. Okay. My thighs are going to hate me. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it will remind you of a clover leaf uh, with the green on either side. So any of the major highways, you know how you got the curving incline and you got the grass area? Mm -hmm. that, that's what this is, only without okay. the curve. All right, I guess we need to go. Okay. Where do you want to go? Well, towards the Pasha. Yeah, we'll start making the ascent. Uh, you get to the fortress, or the entrance to the fortress. There are a fuckload of guards, mm -hmm. uh, and, and some of them are ogre-sized. Uh, they carry big, thick, uh, name any Arabian movie kind of swords, Big scimitars, big mm -hmm. thick bastards. There's a lot of them, and there's a couple that are on horseback. Uh, you notice that as you, after the halfway point of the incline, you're pretty much alone. Now, Camille, you are still invisible, I take it? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, as you guys head up the incline, give me a perception check. All right. Uh, 22 Six. for Zadar. Uh, Zadar, you notice that uh, ahead of you, about 20 feet away from the main gate, uh, it looks like a sand pit, like a runaway semi area. Mm -hmm. uh, very loose sand. Okay. Insight check, Zadar. Okay. Hmm. All right. Inside it is. Uh, that'll be a. Uh, that'll be eight. You have no idea what that means. Okay. All right. Continue uh, up to the gate. Yes. 
as you start to get to the gate, you get to about 18 feet in front of it. Mm -hmm. You hear a whistle mm -hmm. from the towers above, and every fucking guard forms a line holding their pikes straight out. Wow. Uh, one of the guys on the horseback grabs an amulet around his neck and yells out, Halt, invisible one. Oh, oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> the loose sand sees your footprints. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's what that was for. <laughs> I apologize. I had forgotten that I was invisible. An um, easy thing to forget, I assume. Uh -oh. uh, he dismounts and he looks surprisingly young. Yeah. I say you must forgive her. She was trying to. Uh, I must not forgive anyone. Those who are invisible coming to the Pasha's residence rarely mean good things. This guy is fucking amazing looking. He's got a 19 charisma. Uh, his, his voice is very commanding, very straightforward. He's got two eyebrows, which is kind of cool here. Uh, <laughs> but he is, he is a very forceful speaker. Uh, mm -hmm. and immediately wants to know what your business is. He walks through the picket row of the troops uh, and walks out into the sand. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Sure. Fourteen. Uh, Eighteen for Sadar. <laughs> Both of you notice that in the wake of his footsteps are clawed feet. So he doesn't leave boot prints. He leaves clawed feet. Okay. Footprints. This could be one of those shifters that they were telling us about, perhaps. Is he the werewolf? His copperish skin and big white smile. Uh, I will need you to state your business before you take one step closer. Uh, but of course, uh, my name is Sadar. My companion is Camille. We've traveled uh, from uh, Nathian. We've crossed the desert. The little uh, people place? Yes. <laughs> and uh, we were t we have a particular problem that we would like to solve, and we would like to counsel the wisdom of the Pasha. They told me they may have the answer. Uh, Can we we're looking, see him? <laughs> yes, we're looking for a conveyance that he might have that could take us to uh, Katang. Katang. Do you, have a, do you have an appointment? No, we would like to make one, though. Do I look like the Pasha's personal calendar? No, you do not. I As... uh, elbow Zadar in the upper thigh and I say, show him your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I just kind of stretch a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and, and I say, who might we inquire to make an appointment with the Pasha? Your balance issues belie a sense of insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've just spent a lot of hours r riding a horse. So I'm, yeah, I'm just kind of. Whatever you like to do in your spare time. Spare time. Oh, I, time I tell him I, that's, uh, that's a good one. I've heard that before. Thank you, my good man. Uh, uh, he points out with the administrative offices. And again, if I had the right fucking map, I could tell you where it is. <laughs> uh, I think it is uh, this building right there at the bottom of the incline. So you'll have to go around and get there. Uh, he'll point down there uh, and say, perhaps they can assist you in your uh, appointment schedule. I go up and I tug his pant leg. Could you show us? No, go away. <laughs> what, you think you're better than me just because you're tall? You should yes. probably remember the footsteps <laughs> that he leaves. <laughs> and if he's not going to go for Jessica Rabbit's cleavage. He yeah. might be into short chicks. He might be. He is not. No. Fine. 
Uh, I'm in the wrong form to gather this man's favor, so <laughs> so I say we should probably we should we should probably make our way to the administration building. I thank the the gentleman, the man at arms, and uh, we will make our way. I stick my tongue out at him. Uh, he looks at you and says, "Next time, do not come invisible. This is your only warning." And I go mm, again. Well, <laughs> doesn't seem to care. Unfazed. <laughs> That's fine. All right, uh, let's go to the administration building. Uh, you guys go down there. Uh, Zadar, give me an odd or even. Okay. Uh, but I'll, I'll roll a d4 for that, too. Even. Uh, you see that urchin again wandering around. Hmm. Can't, can't really place why. Uh, does it, it seem like it's like scanning for us or is it just kind of milling about? Just kind of milling about and you notice that he has some kind of semi-precious jewels in his hand. Oh, well, that's odd. That is odd. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, uh, since we're making our way down there, uh, if the urchin is like within our path to the administration, I'm keeping an eye on him. I guess we'll 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 stop to inquire. Uh, you seem lost. Are you looking for something? Oh, how tall is he compared to me? About same height. Could I take him? Uh, he looks like a kid, so yeah, probably. <laughs> Aww. However, Camille, you feel a hand on your shoulder, and you hear, it's you. What? As you spin around, it's an old crone with salt and pepper hair. She has a bandage across her eyes. She uses a walking staff, and she has a fairy on her shoulder, a okay. Tinkerbell, but she's got a hold of Camille, not like, but holding on, and says, you are a time traveler. Um, I have. Not by trade, but we have. <laughs> You are from the Gnomish homeland. Do you know Mortimer? Jay Sneed? Yes. I have had the pleasure of his company before. Is he still here? He has not been here in a decade. Now, this lady's blind. She can't see shit. Oh. How did you know, Mortimer? Uh, conjugal. Oh, God damn it. Um, I knew that's what it was. We figured as much. It's just like, we're sorry. He's such a slut. <laughs> I, I am not. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> well, then, that's fine. So. You, how, you should take care in the city. I. Why is that? It, the city is a dangerous place these days. The Pasha wishes to go ahead and exert his influence throughout the wastelands and some people do not like that mm. well we need to ask him a favor so how should we approach that you'll have to go through the uh the bazaar how do you pronounce that vizier vizier thank you yeah I'm that's having, all right i having right. a dumbass attack vizier uh, and then the, pasha? The, the, the grand vizier is the only one who can get you an audience with the pasha and how do we get to him she kind of looks over to the corner and the little fairy mm -hmm. uh, reaches out with a little wand mm -hmm. and goes, Kapow! and you guys find yourself in front of this wooden door. I was going to oh. offer her a chestnut. But, okay. <laughs> Too late. You ain't there. Did she come uh, with or, or she or nope. She just sent us there, huh? Yep. Okay. And... Do we knock on the door? 
I, I say to Camille before, I say, I know, I know people with blindness have some, you know, they can either see through a familiar and that's what I think the, the fairy was, but how did she see that, that we have traveled through time? She's a witch. I mean, well, I'm sure we give off some kind of aura, either well, that or she knew because, we were coming. You know, you're sick. Probably. So. Uh, you guys noticed that the door in front of you there is some alley. What? What time of day is it? Same time, eight ish, okay. nine ish. In the morning. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is there anything of uh, to? to note that we're in the alley is there anything above the door it's very narrow uh, well on everywhere in the city they have window boxes they're either growing herbs or flowers or vegetation uh sometimes they just feed squirrels uh which randomly zip across uh this air the area that you've traveled thus far has been very wide very wide avenues big entry points you are in you're on some back road somewhere. Uh, you assume you're still in Venice because there's sand everywhere. Uh, and the acolytes were not here to clean this area up. All right, I go knock on the door. Uh, D12 against me. Eight. Four. Uh, what do you want? Um... I'm not sure. Door still uh, closed. I, I say a blind woman has sent us. Really? Did she see this place? I don't know. Her fairy sent us here. <laughs> Door opens a crack, and you can see it's a, a fat ass kind of guy, and he kind of oh. looks looks at both of you, and he kind of opens up the door, and he's wearing a vest, big hairy chest. He's like, you "Come for the job." Sure. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> you coming for the job too? I go where she goes. Opens up the door. Uh, you guys get a whiff of. Uh, you know what? I've got brown right here. <laughs> <laughs> smells like musk. Smells like basil. Oh, basil. Yum. Okay. Yeah. Are basil? they making chai? Basil and tobacco. Uh, oh, okay. It is, as you guys walk in, this is a small room. Uh, it's got casks of what appears to be liquor uh, here. It, it, you're kind of like in a storeroom as you're looking around. Uh, this guy is a creeper, class A creeper. He's kind of licking his lips. And, Ew. Uh, mm -hmm. Rubbing that four o'clock shadow, looking at you two, and he goes, yeah, you guys will... You guys, you guys are hired. Yeah, uh, I say. I, no, he, I, I, I tell Camille. At, I say. No, he's I said, not looking at me. He's looking at you. Uh, I think he's, he's looking at those, both of us. <laughs> he's one of those people that looks at you in the eye and then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's that one guy that you. Yeah, don't he's not leaving, about. Yes, he's not leaving any clothes on you at all. He is just uh, dramatically stripping you clean. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, it, oh, it, Zadar it, could it, re snap, snap, really. Snap, snap, snap. Hello. Yeah. Zadar could really fuck with him and just suddenly just make a bulge appear at the crotch or something. Nice. So <laughs> he he hoists the pony keg. He's like, follow me. Uh, you follow him. Camille, sure. do you want to go through this? Okay, we we'll follow. Uh, you go through another door and then a heavy woolen uh rug and you start to hear music uh nice music you know not uh cantina music but play the uh, same song yeah it's it's uh it's nice and they are dwarves uh okay the dwarves uh and they are playing uh accordions oh okay the okay. dwarven accordion band awesome If only they knew they should go to Cathaway. <laughs> uh, they finish their song and you look Play Freebird! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And we are the ladies of Spain. Oh, Thank nice. you. Uh, and you notice your backstage. Okay. This doesn't uh, bode well. This they, is not boding well at all. <laughs> it, it looks it looks like a tavern. Uh, there's hookah pipes hookah pipes everywhere. Uh, there's a bar. Uh, the dwarves, apparently female, uh, mm -hmm. are in the orchestra pit. Uh, and across the way, on the other side of the stage, uh, you see women dressed in genie costumes, essentially. Uh, mm -hmm. You're in uh, Zigfield Follies, apparently. Uh, uh, and he throws a couple of outfits towards oh you guys. God. And he goes, you can change here. And he walks down the stairs and he's headed towards the bar. The ladies on the other side are like, okay apparently they want you to get dressed and you guys are going to perform behind you come two other ladies and they're like you better get the outfits on uh i we i hand the, uh, what we're supposed I to had, be doing i had the outfits uh back to them and i say i've brought my own and snap my fingers and i go completely princess leia from uh from return of the jedi i turn around uh, and ask, how am i supposed to compete with that <laughs> that bothers them to no end. Uh, okay. That concerns them. Uh, they look at Camille. Are you going to get dressed or, or are we just going out ourselves? No, oh, fine. I'll get dressed. Just don't look. I've seen it all before, hon. Uh, you, yeah, I don't care, but you haven't. I haven't had you see me. <laughs> so don't look. Uh, so you guys are all dressed in colored genie outfits with nice veils. Uh, the dwarves come back with mugs, uh, sit back down at the pit, uh, and then play some Weird Al Yankovic song on the accordion. Nice! Um, the, nice. Girls, the girls push you out, the girls on the other side come running out, da 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 da, -da and they do the little shimmy shake, blah blah blah. You guys now get a full view. You're in, I don't know, like a shotgun style tavern, very long but very narrow. Again, tables uh, lit by small oil lamps, hookahs everywhere, a lot of men, a lot of women, not a lot of riffraff, uh, mm -hmm. kind of a higher end clientele. Give me perception checks. Yeah, I turn to Zadar and I say, what the fuck did the bl blind lady send us here for? I have no idea, but we need to find out and then get the hell out of here. 17 for 19. Zadar. You guys both notice the black robed figure, uh. not, not in Pervert's Row, because that would be obtuse. Uh, he's kind of in the middle of the building, uh, sipping on a wine glass. Mm. Uh, well, uh, you know. Again, you're getting pushed out. Do you? Because the ladies on the other side are now out in center stage, and they're kind of like, you know, doing this. <laughs> doing what? Are we supposed, uh, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to go out? You're, you're, getting, you're getting pushed in the back by the other dancers. You guys clearly have to get your ass out there. Okay. okay. I'm just like, just follow my lead. <laughs> and I start start doing a dance. Zadar's a dancer. So, you know, remember the banana dance, right? <laughs> uh, younger people will not get this reference. So you'll have to look it up. Uh, but you hear the... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> you hear a lot of burlesque music from the accordion players okay camille goes out and does the halfling version of twerking <laughs> nice okay uh zadar's banana dance right uh, they've seen that they've seen that uh okay 12. uh camille, uh 12 as well they've seen that just not really from a short person. Uh, uh, should we roll performance or something like that? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just uh, rolling. Uh, so the girls with you guys, ooh, not doing so hot. <laughs> the girls on the other side garner a 12 as well. So while you guys aren't tearing the house apart, they're not booing you off the stage and asking for the shepherd. It's part. our first night. Come on. <laughs> they don't know that uh you are now pelted with coins and semi-precious gems oh, yeah 
Whoa. Some, some of the coinage falls into the orchestra pit, either by accident or on purpose. The uh, ladies of Spain band uh, do not miss a beat, and they continue because they realize that yeah, they'll just get it all cleaned up. Good for that. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys roll, uh, you both got the same roll, so roll a d20. Okay. Ooh, 20. <laughs> nice. All right, 13 for Sadar. Uh, you guys do your little shimmy dance. The curtains close. Uh, there's oil lamps kind of lighting the area. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, you get 200 gold pieces in coins and gems. Zadar, nice. you managed to rake in 130. Okay. Uh, ah, they like the short meat. Uh, mm -hmm. 160 times three is what the band rakes in. Nice. So, All right. Uh, the girls uh, on the far side are like, what the hell took you so long? You almost ruined this for us. This we is just got our here. first night. We just got here. Well, you're going to need to do better if you're going to stick around here, sweetheart. And she whips her feather bow around and smacks it in odd even. Odd Camille's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Let me look. <laughs> mm, do I have fire? Both of you perception check. Oh, okay. <laughs> five okay uh 21 for zadar camille is uh, i'm gonna light this bitch's ass on fire uh zadar you hear chairs scraping on the other side of the curtain uh from the audience yep oh okay uh yeah i'm gonna part the curtain a little bit and kind of take a peek out some uh, of the customers have had their fill and are leaving, including your black robed individual. Mm. Oh, I say a person of interest is making their way out of here. Camille starts to make fire crackle out of her fingers. I'm like, no. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll go after him. See, you had a staff. You could have done some uh, rudimentary pole dancing. <laughs> yeah, hey. Uh, I'll uh, bring that back. I'll bring that back. We'll talk about there. that later. Yeah, the girls, we'll, the we'll girls, work something out. Yeah, the girls on your side are also new, and they're they're lost because they got a two on their roll. So they they they've never done this before. They aren't sure. Uh, and you notice that two of them have iron manacles on a hand. Great sex uh, trafficking. Yeah, the others do not. Okay uh we'll inquire about that uh ladies where where are you from you seem new here uh we are escaped slaves S escaped slaves mm -hmm. from mm. lushwal to the east uh you'll notice that these ladies are not swarthy dark-headed types uh they're caucasian dark-headed types a uh, mm. little bit of sunburn uh but the manacle has been on a while because you can tell there's some considerable rubbish there. Uh, uh, the experienced so, ones don't give a shit about you guys and walk off. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll I'll talk to the girls from Lush Ball. Uh, I'm gonna ca cast detect magic. Are the manacles magical? No. Okay. Uh, I say I could probably help you with those if they're allowed to be removed. Yes, please. Okay, uh, Zadar breaks out the thieves' tools and starts to work on the manacles. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, what do I have to write? Sleight of hand or? Uh, you can do uh, sleight of hand or dexterity straight up. Okay, hmm. That is tough choice because they're both very high. Um, let's see, let's see. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go for sleight of hand. Sure. Okay. Okay, on the first one. Uh, that's going to be 27 to do it. 19 plus 8. Okay. All right. Um, 
does that unlock it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, the second girls, uh, 25, 17 plus eight. The rudimentary locks give way to your expert lock picking and drop to the floor. Uh, you can tell, I mean, it's it's just rubbed raw on these two. Um, Do they have any other marks on them that, that denotes them as slave, any kind of brand or tattoo? Not that you can see. Would you like them to strip down? No, no. I'm they just could just looking. tell us. <laughs> That's gross. He, did, he, he, he didn't ask. He no. Said, does he see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll ask them. Uh, is there any particular mark upon you from your previous owners or anything like that that might no. give you away that you were a slave? None that you can see. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Um, uh, maybe somebody at the temple might be able to help you with the 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 wounds caused by the. They would not manacles. see us because we had manacles on. Oh, okay. Well, bastards. Well, um, I'm trying to think if I had anything in in, in going through my inventory. The curtain uh, opens up. That? The curtain opens up, and the swarthy guy's like, "Yeah, you guys sticking around for the next show?" Uh, uh, actually, it's break time for us, but uh, we'll we'll take a leave. We might be here for the the following. So uh, the other two ladies are frightened, and they say, "Yes, yes, we'll, we will stay. We will stay." And you notice that they got about seven gold pieces, and they think they are king shit. Oh, oh, okay. Um. It's just like, well, girls, have you eaten yet? You can't perform if you're hungry. I can feed them. Ew. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you can. Like, I'm sure you're packing something in there, big fella. Uh, <laughs> I got I think, enough for all of you to eat. <laughs> I'm sure these girls are vegan, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> um. And uh, the, the ladies clearly have no idea of the situation they're at. Right, right. Wow. And it's just like, uh, ladies, come. Let's get you something to eat, and we'll we'll go ahead. Be so, back in a half hour. Sure thing, gentlemen. Or sir, boss. We'll go out. So we'll go. We'll go back and. Are we'll you take going the out the back door or the front door? Whatever is avail available to us to get to get them out of there to get something or something. Uh, you can see the exit. Okay, um, but they're they're clothed in the regular uh, dancing girl outfits, right? They are. Okay. Um, uh, Zadar is going to. Um, take off their cloak and uh, offer it for one of them. And um, I don't know if Camille has one as well. A cloak? She's got a short one. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm kind of small. How, how tall are these girls human or Lushwalian? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Here, you can cover your genitals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's enough that they can reverse the cloak, cover their boobs, mm -hmm. wear the mini skirt. There we go. Back okay. end might be flying high. Okay. All right. Well, we'll 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 try to get them as covered as we can. So uh, sure. we'll we'll Front make our back. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, this is what we're doing. No, are you stuck in? Are we going out the front or oh, the back? Okay. <laughs> Not what's sticking out the front or sticking out the <laughs> I back. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not all of our minds are in the <laughs> uh, We're going to go out the front, actually. Very good. Uh, you will receive uh, misogynistic cat calls. Uh, of course. Of uh, course. A few smacks on the ass. Uh, yeah, we'll do the showgirls exiting the stage with the mwah, mwah, and yeah, just head on our way out. Camille one, Zadar two, Dancer three, Dancer four. Okay. Dancer three uh, is grabbed by the hand and pulled close and asks if she'd like to make extra money on the side. Uh, she is uh, 
And I said, I say, no, she is working for me. Thank you, big fella. And we <laughs> walk off. <laughs> okay. uh, again, misogynistic comments, pats, mm -hmm. cat calls, etc. You guys get outside and uh... what's there? Uh, give me both of you. Give me D fours and percentages. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, that would be a two and uh, 73. Mm, that's a three and uh, 30. Zadar, the closest shot to you is a uh, herbal store selling uh, belladonna sprigs and other witchcraft items. Okay. Uh, Camille. Textiles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Those could be useful. Um, uh, odd, even uh, odd clothing, even base fabric. And that I one's gone. Uh, you better hope Steve don't get it. Well, it's a D4. Uh, rather, Steve get it than me. Steve's in bed. Uh, new D4. Uh, one, clothing. So, okay, uh, perfect, perfect. So what do you want to do there? Uh, I'm going to, uh, mm -hmm. we'll take the ladies there and we'll get them some clothes. This is essentially a notorious secret. Okay. Wow. But I'm sure they got the juicy pants or the pink or whatever, you know, pants and t-shirt or something. <laughs> that, yeah, it is the classy sweatpants. Classy sweatpants, they don't say... Juicy and on her the ass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Hey>, so, you can see. Oh. <laughs> uh, anything that looks less sexual there. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two. Uh, three. <laughs> uh, they have some uh, male attire that could pass for. You know, if you got it small enough, uh, kind of buckskin shirt, you know, to show the manly chest and shit like that. Right. Um, it'll, right. It'll work. Okay. Yeah, we'll 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 set the ladies up with that. The and, ladies are concerned they don't have enough money. I say, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Okay. Tara's tops is where you are at. Okay. Uh, you get them decked out, and uh, let's see how it, it shakes out. Uh, one is quite revealing at 17. The other one is uh, suitably attired at 12. So I'll say the 17 has uh, the chest. Okay. All right. Well, that one probably still has my cloak, so they could use that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the girls are, are lost. Uh, okay. Uh, they, they point out they just got into town uh, late last night uh, mm -hmm. from Northgate and found their way here they got some food and uh okay you know went to the shrine uh but they said north gate okay and we came in through the south gate is that correct yes okay uh before we do anything else we'll we'll go to the herb shop okay and sadar will inquire whether they have a healing salve or some kind of healing component or something like that. See if we can get the girls healed up. Uh, D12. Okay. 10. Oh, <laughs> 10. We roll. 12. 10, ten again. Uh, All right. They have a salve. Uh, it will have to be applied uh, once a day for mm -hmm nine days 
Uh, but yep. it should remove the uh, okay. problem. Uh, as long as the owner doesn't come looking, uh, the herbalist says, I don't want any trouble with the law. No, no, no. That's a, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you guys also spot an inn mm -hmm. uh, as well as another tavern. So you're, you're kind of in a skeezy kind of uh, location in town. Uh, and Camille is still itching from the bed bugs. Uh, I asked, does she have something for that? <laughs> D12. Okay. Uh, that would be an eight. <laughs> Three. Uh, yeah, she's got a salve. Okay. All right. We'll get that for Camille. Once a day for two days. Okay. All right. Should remove the itching. Okay. So you okay. have a uh, bed bug cure. Yeah, that could be a deterrent. That could be a deterrent for you, for Camille, for these leches. You know, you okay. just start scratching, you know, like your crotch or something like that. Yeah, big guy, what you got? Exactly. So uh, you've been to the herbalist. You've been mm -hmm. to Tara's tops. You've got the girls suitably attired. Mm hmm food um, or lodging uh well, well uh we asked the girls are uh are you hungry could you eat i mean yeah we have we haven't had any food okay we'll get them something to eat as well uh you can go to the same tavern or different one uh different one okay. actually hey you guys go in again yeah skeezy part of town but mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, the it's, food's passable, or I don't know. You gonna eat? Uh, yeah. I mean, the purpose was to get the girls food. So, sure. Uh, the girls will like the food no matter what. Okay. Best food ever. You guys can do constitution checks. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, of course, my screen goes dead. Uh. All right, just one second. <laughs> Camille, if you want to eat something at this tavern, go ahead and constitution. Constitution, yes, say. Uh... uh, for Sadar, that is 15. It's not the greatest thing in the world, especially to Camille, but the two ladies, uh, Dara and Elise, don't seem to mind at all. They gobble the food down rather quickly. Okay. I, I still have a couple of oranges, so I'll slice up some orange slices for them. I should have called them Laverne and Shirley. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shem Oppor Shem opportunity Shem missed. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, th these guys are... What do we do now? Okay. I tell, I tell the ladies, look, there is no reason to go back in there. Uh, but we got this money. You're, you're, are, are, are you hacking on something? sex workers? No, I mean escape slaves. Escape slaves. I say, don't worry about that uh, for right now. Uh, let's get you some lodging or something for the night. Because what time is it? Or do we have time to venture out of this skeezy part of this? But it's town? like eleven o'clock in the morning. Still, oh, eleven o'clock wow. in the morning. Still, Jeez. well, you came into town. You met Jaime. You uh, watched for what? five minutes as the storm went by you yeah. met the witch and you got blinked out so okay well uh we'll 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 tell the ladies that look there is no reason to to go back there and zadar will give them the the hundred gold out hmm. of the 130 that he had they're swimming in butter now uh mm -hmm. they they and and i give them in a pouch and i say you keep this hidden as well as you can and um uh tell us a little more about the area here did you get to to see much or you were just ushered into this this place we came in last night and we're told that if we wanted a job to go there uh and who who did you ask for would they were you given a name or something no okay 
Uh, I am trying to figure out why we got sent here because we were sent here by somebody and this is not what we expected, but we didn't sign up for this. No, we didn't. And you should. Well, you did real well. You're like pros. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, table talk. Uh, how long would it take for us to get out of this skeezy section into something more reputable? Once you get your bearings, uh, probably 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, is there a way for us to get our bearings at this point? Yeah, find a main avenue. Okay. Uh, uh, ladies, we can find you probably someplace better to stay. I mean, would you rather stick with us and we get our way out of this place? I mean, you have some means now. Um, uh, what, what would you ladies like to do? We need to find a place to stay. Okay. All right. And that's what we shall do. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to find our way to main thoroughfare sure. to get some uh, more reputable since it's, since we've got daylight. Yeah. You guys find yourself right here. Okay. Uh, I look around anything of note that might give us an indication why we would have been sent here. And then Zadar thinks for a moment says maybe that woman sent us here to find that person that black cloaked figure probably the two girls have no idea what you're talking about okay uh, i i just say uh never you mind this is you know, just something that we we've noticed maybe we can get them someplace safe and then we make our way back here and try to find the cloaked figure man there's i i'm pretty sure there's an inn right in that area Okay. <laughs> I think, again, I don't have the colored section, but I think it's that one is the end. Okay. Is it pretty safe? It's not the Hilton. <laughs> but it's not a brothel it's either, hotel right? Morning, <laughs> it, it's the Hotel Moliere. It's, uh, it, it's a hotel. Okay. No working okay. girls out here. Okay. I think that's the reason why we're here is to seek the man in, in a cloak. So uh, let's get the ladies uh, uh, some shelter, comforted and, and comfort or whatever, uh, so they can rest and we'll, we'll venture out and go and look. Sure. So we'll, we'll go to Motel Moliere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got room. Uh, the proprietor is a female and points out no working girls here. Oh, these that's ladies, fine. that's fine, they're not working tonight. So. Are you sure? Oh, I'm positive. <laughs> uh, they thank you again for the hundred gold pieces. Um, uh, pay uh, Gertrude. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, know. we'll we'll pay for their room, and we tell them to get some rest, and we'll check on them in, uh, as yeah. soon as we can. Yeah, in the morning. This is the end of the serpent, and it's Gertrude Oxlider. And I asked the the ladies, "What are your names? Do you have given names or Dara I and Elise?" Dara and Elise. Okay, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Sadar. This is Camille. Pleased to meet you. Thank you again for all your help. And um, how did you escape Lushwal? And how far was Lushwal from here? Two and a half weeks. Wow. And you crossed the desert for two and a half weeks? We were on a ship. You were on a ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did the ship come up the river or? Uh... Uh, no, to the coast. There's a small village there uh, mm. and, and we escaped there. Okay, okay. We were being sold. Do you think you have pursuers after you or they could care less whether two slaves escaped? Um, 
cat thrown around. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was like, okay, that, that's kind of a reaction. Okay, let me uh, read it into that. <laughs> uh, you guys have not been around flavors at all in this campaign. Mm -hmm. The ladies do not know. Oh, okay. All right. Well, just um, uh, take cover and take shelter here, and we'll we'll check on you in the morning. Okay. Okay, I, vent I advise you not to venture out to just don't venture out. <laughs> so that's fine. He used okay. Grubhub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And left. Okay. Right. Uh, you've dumped them in the safe place called Inn of the Serpent. Okay. Uh, and, and as you wander around this area, again, multiple races, including some yawn tea. So you know you're in the bad part of town. Yeah, uh, when the young tea are walking around free. Was uh, Gertrude yeah. a young Thanks, tea? Scott. She is not. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, we'll 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 change our outfits or whatever uh, from showgirl to just adventuring attire. I thought you already did. Uh, I'm stating that that we still yeah. are. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see in this area of town, mm -hmm. you can see the palace. Okay. Okay. So now you're starting to get your bearings. You know, you came in from the south. You're pretty sure you came in. And now you're at the north. Again, people everywhere. Just, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, people everywhere uh, milling about, selling things, uh, probably looking to steal things. You get a few card dealers. Uh, you get a few. Uh, uh, whistleblowers with their snakes, uh, mm -hmm. snake charmers. Uh, a lot of things going on in this neck of the woods. Did you guys want to get rooms at the end of the serpent as well or no? Um, Camille, what do you think? Should we get rooms there as well? I, I don't think so. Okay. I think All we right. need separate a separate place. Okay. Refined taste. No, it doesn't nice. have to be refined. I'm just saying it needs to be separate. Sure. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll 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 find accommodations elsewhere. But in the meantime, um, yeah. So we saw the gentleman in the black cloak, or the person in the black cloak, leave. Correct. Okay. All right. We'll we'll backtrack to the to the tavern and kind of look around the area to kind of get some kind of bearing to see where this person might have might have left. Uh, D four percentage, both of you. Okay, that's a two and uh seventy percent. I get a four and seventy. A two and a 70 and a four and a 70. Uh, two and 70. Just off. <laughs> uh, another herb and spice place, Zadar. Okay. Uh, a different one this time, I, mm -hmm. I suspect. Okay. Uh, this one's run by somebody called the Colonel. The Colonel? Okay. Yep. Uh, are they, they selling sell chicken? chicken? <laughs> like seven herbs and spices? They sell at least six herbs and spices. Nice. Okay. Uh, four and 70. Pumpkin dealer. Pumpkin? Pumpkin on carts. Pumpkins. Hmm. Okay. Pumpkin bread? Ooh, pumpkin spice. They hey. got everything, man. Hey. Pump, pumpkin, pump. pumpkin aid, if you mm -hmm. want to drink it. No, that's gross. You pumpkin. don't want to drink pumpkin aid no. or pumpkin juice? <laughs> no. Come on. Not even not a, a pumpkin spice latte. That's just gross. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> okay. A shout is heard. Out of the way! Out of the way! And you hear the gallop of horses and uh -oh. the rumble of wheels. Okay. Uh, and we'll, you... we'll do our agility checks and get out of the way. <laughs> Give me dexterity checks for both of you as a <sighs> chariot comes winging down the road. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dexterity for Zadar. That'll be... Uh, uh, 19. 
agility. Oh my. Mm, that would be Dex. Oh, okay. Gosh darn it, my classes are dirty. Mm, oh, I know oh. that feeling. <laughs> um, 15. You both manage to dive out of the way. Uh, another passerby next to you also jumps out of the way, but hits the tongue of the cart, sending uh -oh. one pumpkin airborne with a natural 20 it strikes the driver as they're going by uh and he crashes into the side of the building oh dear wearing the pumpkin on his head oh no <laughs> uh, no he is not he is a gray guard and he is pissed oh it's not our fault somebody right. else hit the cart <laughs> he, he looks over at you guys he's clearly nicked up a little bit of blood uh, i say oi it's a bad day <laughs> thing he focuses <laughs> in on you and he comes stomping over he unsheaths uh, I'm, like, Look, I'm in the same deal why did you hit me with that punch? i didn't hit you with it <laughs> did i saw it come flying off that cart the cart right next to you well hey, trust me it wasn't us there's no way i could have winged and, you that like that and, and, and that dude way, i'm laying here like this he, he's he's pissed he's looking for a fight you can tell okay it, look it's it's definitely not our fault i mean because i mean if this was a prank or something like that we don't find it funny as either you talk an awful lot princess mm, that's well kind that's of my just stick. rude so but uh, i mean can i help you i can help get you cleaned up i mean 16 at least. plus four dirty 20 he cracks you with the hilt of his sword. Oh, okay, he hit me with a dirty 20. Hey, that's just mean. I assume. Okay. That's a, it's a 16 plus four, dirty 20. I'm gonna shake it off and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna let that slide because <laughs> obviously you're a guard and I do apologize this happened to you. Whatever, six hit points. Uh, storms off and goes and checks on his chariot uh he's fiddle fucking around with the wheel that came off uh some of the townspeople are like oh, you gotta watch out you can't talk to guards like that yeah yeah i figured i'm just rolling around like what the hell just happened the individual who dove out of the way and hit the tongue's like man thanks 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 for taking the heat uh do I is this person in a black cloak by any chance? <laughs> no. no. No, we're okay. killing him. Mm -mm. Uh, I tell him, look, it's it's an accident. <clears throat> it's okay. The guard turns around and looks at you. Don't cross my path again. Smacks the reins on the horse and takes off, sending people flying left and right. Mm, is he the cute guard? And they ho. <laughs> he is not the cute guard. Okay. Yeah. Let him go on his way. <laughs> so, uh, I say, uh, what, and who might you be? <laughs> uh, to the guy that sent the thing flying? Mm hmm. Uh, he is a bar. Hey, Bob. Uh, yes, he is a uh, weaver by trade. Ah, hey, Bar. Pleasure to meet you. I am Zadar. This is Camille. And it's just like, were you hurt, or were you able to to get out of the way? <clears throat> I, I dove out of the way, and I, I guess I accidentally hit the tongue of the cart and sent the pumpkin. Uh, the pumpkin dealer is kind of pissed because uh, I could get thrown out of town for that. Uh, I I. I give him a couple of pieces of gold for the, the pumpkin. I'm less pissed. <laughs> okay. I figured as much. <laughs> I, we apologize. <laughs> this was an accident, obviously. That guard was 
careless with his chariot driving. So way out of line. You should not speak like that so loud. No, no. And I lower our voice. I understand. Way out of line. I don't uh, think you do understand. <laughs> the Grey Guard is not to be messed with. No, and we, we're we going to do our best to avoid them. Um, I must say, did you see a, uh, a person in a black cloak uh, around this area? Um, probably within the last, I want to say, hour. Grand Vizier? The Grand Vizier, okay. That's the... Yes, he uh, comes down to this area to handle business. Do you know where the Vizier resides, by any chance? In the palace. In the, in the palace itself, okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of business does he come here to transact? <clears throat> Rumor has it. I slide him a gold coin. <laughs> Please tell us. Uh, oh, he's he's happy that you took the heat for him. Um, rumor has it that he's not the best person. <laughs> okay, then can, can can you expound upon that a little bit? Uh, he serves the pasha, and he served uh, the pasha's father before him. Um, so he has a great deal of power in the city, uh, but he tends to misuse his power uh, to his own benefit. Hmm. He does um, not have the best interest of the community, in my in my opinion. Hmm. So, what do you think about the Pasha? Well, he's trying to unify the people. And let me ask you this. Is there any reason that the Temple of Jenna would take issue with the Vizier recently? The Temple of what? Uh, what's the name of the goddess? Jenna. You got it right. You got oh, it right. Jenna. Uh, temple of Jenna? Uh, I think that it was the temple that we saw. On the <clears throat> there are several temples in town. Where okay. is this temple? Um... Uh, actually, uh, it's by the the uh, main bazaar area. The statue oh. of the Pasha. Uh, the healers? Yes, the healers. Uh, he is probably conducting business with, uh, with the Pasha's military plans to reunite the kingdom. He's probably making sure that the healers are ready. Hmm. I see. Uh, the Pasha actually just got done uh, unifying uh, most of the northern tribes. Oh, okay. All right. And and what is the climate around this with... Uh, it's dry. It's very no, dry. No, I'm talking political climate. I mean, how, how do the people feel about <laughs> unification? For the most part, uh, they like it. Uh, but people who leave marks like that and you look over and you see some fist graffiti mm -hmm. on a wall uh, painted in red. Uh, they are. They take issue. They take issue. They are the underground. Gotcha. Uh, let me ask you this. Obviously, seeing that mark here, the underground has a presence in this area. Yes. Anywhere you see that, uh, mm -hmm. they have been. Uh, it doesn't. And, and the pumpkin person's like, I'm not having this conversation. And they move the cart away. Oh, okay. Clearly in fear. Uh, okay. the, the five fingers uh, make note of their displeasure. And they okay. probably are aware that the vizier sees this. Okay. Uh, so they knew the vizier was in the area. So Most likely. Uh, most of this is usually cleaned off fairly quickly. Uh, and on cue, a couple of street employees come by and throw water on it and start washing it away. Okay. Yeah. Probably that that was obvious that the Basir was here. It was our cloaked figure, and he sent them to clean up. So, all right. Well, we'll thank thank you so much for the information. Um, 
uh, is there a particular place that the Fazir frequents around here? Have you noticed the tavern that we saw them in? Probably. He usually comes around every day or so. Okay. Sometimes every couple days. <clears throat> uh, you can also try and catch him at the governmental building at the foot of the palace. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks for the direction and thanks for the information. Stay safe. Stay out of the, the path of the Great Guard if I were you right now. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Investigation <laughs> checks both of you. Okay. Oh, man. Investigation. All right. Uh, 14. Ooh. Yeah, 14 here as well. Uh, you notice some of the people are looking at the crash site. One of them's eating a part of the pumpkin rind. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Somebody got a free lunch. <laughs> it's Jaime. Gross. Oh, okay. Jaime, what are you doing? Enjoy a slice of pumpkin. <laughs> All right, Groomio. All right. Jaime, I got a couple of questions for you. Make it quick. I've got places to go, things to do. And where are you going by any chance? Um, I'm sorry. My mother's dead. Who are you? Well, it's just like you always seem to be around at the most opportune time. So I was just wondering if there is any any purpose. Are you heading somewhere with a purpose right now? I'm headed to speak to my cousin. Okay. I mean, I'm not, not trying to pry, pry. Is your cousin someone it's, of note? I am. Seems, Who's your cousin? It seems like you're using a crowbar. Uh, her name is Gertrude. <gasps> we met Gertrude. She's at the Serpent. I beg your pardon? The the inn. The inn. Isn't that why, Gertrude? Why is she at the inn? Isn't she the owner? I don't know what inn you're talking about. My Gertrude sells honey. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, probably a different Gertrude. All right. Sure. You are in a big city. Yeah, we are. And we realize that. So, you know, our faux mm -hmm. pas. There's probably more than one woman named Gertrude in the city. So I don't think so. <laughs> what uh, what other questions do you have? I must go see my cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you know of the vizier? Never met him. Mm. Okay. A man right. with your status has never met the vizier? I'm an old man. Maybe I knew the vizier as a child. Mm. Well, then obviously you've met him. I wouldn't know what he looks like. What oh. did he look like then? I've met hundreds of kids. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't even... In the insight check and investigation, uh, does sure. Jaime have been any red coloring on him as perhaps paint or anything like that? Sure, go ahead and give me a insight and invest investigation both okay insight is a 17 investigation is a 20 dirty 20. his hands are clean but there's something he's not telling you yeah uh, obviously <laughs> camille d4 and percentage <clears throat> two and 70. Damn, Herman's Spice Place is really smelling good. <laughs> wow. Okay. And, and, and you see a cart full of chickens headed into that shop. Oh, okay. Hey, might want to check that out. Yeah. Could be a meal. Yeah. Hi, me. Yeah. And he's gone. Oh, man. <laughs> we turn around and he's gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And that seems like a good place to stop for the I night. Tell Camille, he obviously knows more than he's telling. So we'll yeah. have to follow up on that. <laughs> An old man with a stick uh, that makes reappearances. How unusual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Zadar, what'd you think of Menace so I, far? I like Menace so far, you know, the intrigue and all that. And hopefully our. Uh, 
are, are two uh, slave maidens that uh, we help ex uh, abscond or whatever doesn't don't meet any kind of untoward fate or something. <laughs> it's like having a pet. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you think I'm asking? <laughs> so, but but I'm liking this. I, I really do. So cool, Camille. What'd you think? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. That's fair. I'm withholding my reservations. That's cool. <laughs> uh, well, folks, uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not any combat this time around, although there was the possibility for some fighting. Mm -hmm. um, the party has successfully brushed it off. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy some of our cool crap, like Murder Hobocon uh, memorabilia, uh, the link is down there, uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. If you're in the mood for new math rocks, uh, like uh, David is going to be getting here shortly. <gasps> uh, well, she's got to make them yet. So. Yeah, I know, but still, it's hey, yeah. Bubble gum. Okay, that's it? fine. I am patient. If this turns out amazing or... You know, I'm I'm just happy for anything. She, I'm she's happy for anything. A, she's a perfectionist. But yeah, if you want a, some cool dice or math rocks, uh, run on over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, check them out. See if they've got the time, the inclination, or the drive to do it for you. And if your game smells and you want to make it smell better or worse, depending on how you want to do it, <laughs> uh, check out some Adventure Sense, over 60 of them, at oddfishgames.com. They also make something called Shine System. Uh, so you can write gooder than me. Uh, we do have a one shot on Saturday night. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please go ahead and let us know at M Hobo Inc, Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we'll see if we can get you on, give you two hours of fun. Uh, that being said, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc, thanks for joining us. Let's give them the big dating game kiss and wave and say goodnight. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Uh, night, everybody. Night, everybody. Check us on Saturday.